What is up everyone? Welcome back to another one of my Balance Athletica try on hauls. So today I will be trying on and reviewing every color and every single piece of the new Nutra collection. So this collection is actually launching this Friday, September 3rd at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, and 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So this is a very quick turnaround, but that's all right. I'm gonna give you all the details that you need to know so that you're prepared for launch, you know what you should get, what sizes you should get, all that fun stuff. Also, per usual, I will be doing a giveaway for those of you who use my link to shop on launch day. What I'll be giving away, there will be 15 different winners. So 10 people will win a free Bike by Foley product of their choice. We have barbell pads, ankle straps, bands, all that stuff. So the winners will get to choose whatever they want. And then three people will win a $100 balance gift card and two people will win a free month of bike body which is my fitness program plus on top of the launch day giveaways it'll also enter you into my monthly giveaway as well so if you would like to enter those giveaways all you have to do is use my link to shop on launch day my link is in the description box here it's also always in my Instagram bio so click on that link shop away then forward your order confirmation to me at Chloe at AOL.com I'll put it right here and that's it I automatically file your email into the giveaway and I do check my junk folder before selecting winners just in case someone's gets sent into that I make sure that I have everyone's email so as long as you typed it in right I received it before I hop into trying these pieces on and telling you all about them I want to give you my sizing stats so I am five foot five and a half about 135 to 140 pounds my waist is 26 inches my hips slash glutes are 39 inches and I'm a 32 double D bra. One thing that I'm really happy about is my true size for both tops and bottoms is a small. I'm a very true small and in this collection, I'm a size small in everything. So everything is true to size, which is amazing. And of course I'll review them all in depth, but just the fact that all of them are very true to size makes me very happy because I think this might be the first collection in a while where I'm not sizing down on anything, which is fabulous. We love to see that. So let's hop right into this collection because I know you guys are excited, I'm excited, and it's definitely probably one of the best launches that Balance has ever done. All right, so I'm gonna start with the tops and then do the bottoms. So first things first, this is the new Reach Bra, which I do have stains on it. I spilled my pumpkin cream cold brew this morning, so don't mind the stains. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but this is the new Reach Bra, so as you can see, it has a high neckline and it has a very simple like Y slash T back. And what I love is that these straps are adjustable. So you can tighten them or loosen them however you need to. I'm kind of like right in the middle, as you can see. I feel like in recent balance bras that are adjustable, like the straps are so long that I have to be on the tightest setting. So these straps feel like a really good length. It has the balance logo embroidered right here. So it's pretty minimal, honestly. Um, and then I have these like stitchings right here just to add a little spice, I guess. I don't know, I think it looks super cute. One thing to know is this is coming in extra, extra small to 4XL, so it's not coming in the cup sizing like the next bra that I'm gonna show you does. But I'm a 32 double D, I'm in my normal size small, and you can see that I'm not like popping out the sides anywhere. Like I have very good coverage on my boobs and it doesn't feel like constrictive at all. I would say it's like a medium tightness. It's snug enough to hold you in, but not so snug that you feel like you're like spilling out over it, if that makes sense. It is made out of the cloud fabric, so it's like a brushed, really soft material. It's so comfortable. This doesn't come with pads in it, so that's also important to know. If you like having pads in your bra, you'll have to like insert your own. I personally hate them, so like I don't mind, but I know that some people do really mind. Even though there's not pads, it is double lined, so like two layers of fabric. So that could also help with nipping if like you're someone who likes having the padding in your bra. I think this bra is so cute, and what I love is that it's very practical for workouts. The high neckline makes it really high support. I've worn this for EMOMs and HIIT workouts so far, and it holds up great. I don't feel like I'm like bouncing around. It seriously makes me feel held in and secure the whole time, which as someone with bigger boobs, I personally love. Again, this is very true to size, so stick with your normal sizing. If you're between sizes, I would do the smaller size if you like it really compressive, or the bigger size if you like to have a little bit more room in your ribs. Otherwise, that is the Reach Bra, and it will be coming in five colors, so I will show you those now. Now for the second bra in this collection is the core bra, which 
I'm not gonna lie, like this is one of my favorite bras that Balance has ever made. At first I was like, oh, like my boobs won't be very supported in it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. But after working out in it, I'm like very pleasantly surprised at how supportive it is and how well it stays in place. So this is very true to size. I'm wearing my normal size small. The thing that I love about this bra is that it does come in the cup sizes. So I'm wearing a small for D plus. I'm a 32 double D. Another thing that I like about this is I feel like in the past launches when they did the cup sizing, they had the D plus bras be like, kind of higher coverage so no cleavage was showing and they also made them long line whereas the a to c cups was like a short line and more booby and i'm someone who likes having cleavage like i like my boobs to be out a little bit you know what i mean like i like the reach for i like the high neckline but i definitely reach for like lower cut bras more often so i love that they made this one pretty much identical to the a to c cup one this time just a little more boob coverage that's literally the only difference i did look at the a to c cup one and i didn't try it on because i mean it's thin i knew my nipples would be popping out so i stuck with the d plus cup but i think it is so freaking flattering it's got a square neckline and then the back is a very simple racer back and this one has a very simple branding it just has an embroidered triangle on it. It doesn't have the word balance spelled out. This is such a good staple piece. And this is my favorite color in it, to be honest. I think it's so freaking pretty. But that is the core bra. It is made from the cloud fabric as well. Again, I'm a 32 double D and I would say that this is medium support. Like it's not something that I'd wear for like a ton of jumping. I definitely could. It's just gonna, I'm gonna have a little bit of bouncing. I would definitely prefer to wear this just for like normal lifts, but it is medium support for me. I do feel pretty secure and covered, which very, surprising for me at least. So this will be coming in five colors. The colors are going to be lighter than all of the pants, but the interesting thing is that the core bras match the spandex and the vista shorts. So you can see right here that they're a perfect match, but for the actual bottoms themselves, the core bras are going to be a lighter shade for both vista shorts, cloud pant, cloud short, and cloud rider shorts. One other thing is that this bra does come with removable pads, but as you can see, I took mine out. I don't like the removable pads. I'm more comfortable without it, but that is the core bra. Now I will show you the other colors. All right, next up are the cloud leggings. So I'm not gonna go over these super in depth just because they have launched these multiple times before. So I feel like you guys probably know about them already, but I will cover the basics so that you know the kind of key features. So the cloud pant is Balance's newest pant actually, and it's a very brushed, soft, buttery material. I wear it for working out. It is brushed, so there is a chance that they will pill if you like have a barbell sitting directly on them or if you happen to have like leggings usually pill right here. That's something else that I've heard people say happens. Mine have only pilled when I accidentally dried them and they pilled like on my butt right here, but I haven't had any issues with pilling, but I know that other people have. So that's just something to be aware of. It is a fragile pant. So you will want to take care of it. But with that being said, it is my favorite balance pant ever because it is so freaking comfortable. It literally feels like a second skin. So this is the updated cloud sizing. So it's gonna fit just like the cloud pants from the Quartz 2.0 collection. It has the smaller gusset, so the gusset, you can see it's not like riding up on my vagina. You don't see it in my butt. So they fixed that. Um, it is less high-waisted than the cloud pants first were when they launched. So it hits right here, center of my waist. I love that. And then it has the signature booty contour, has the logo embroidered on the back, and of course, no front seam, which we love. I think it is marketed as a 7 8 length pant because I think the inseam is 26 inches. Actually, hang on. I think it's 26 inches, but I don't want to like tell you the wrong thing and then you guys get mad at me. Ah, I was wrong. 26 and a half inch inseam. So as you can see, it comes like right above my ankle. I love this length. Um, but yeah, that is the cloud pant. One thing to know about the cloud pants is that dog hair does stick to it since it is a brushed fabric. So if you have dogs with long hair like mine, or even short hair, I know all dogs shed, not all of them, but most of them, you will want to have a lint roller with you because you'll see some dog hairs. I'm actually surprised. I don't see any of Sadie's hair on me right now. And she was sitting on my lap, so. That's pretty cool. One other thing, of course, it has the tapered waistband that balance pants have, but it's not like so dr drastically tapered that it like squeezes you. As you can see, I have plenty of room still left, but these are gonna be some of the most comfortable pants you ever put on your body. Just the design of them is so flattering and makes me feel so confident.
All right, next up is the Cloud Rider shorts, which this is a product that they've launched before, I've talked about before, so I'm not gonna go super into depth, but they are basically Balance's version of biker shorts and in the cloud fabric, which you all know is one of my favorite fabrics ever. One thing that's different about this launch is that the rider shorts and the cloud pants are the same color. However, the cloud shorts, which are the shorter short version of these basically, they're gonna be tonal. So they're a little bit lighter than the biker shorts and the leggings, which is just something to be aware of. So basically, the rider shorts and the cloud pants are the same color, and then the cloud shorts, so many clouds, are a little bit lighter than them. But let's talk about the cloud rider shorts. So one thing that I think is important to know is that in the Quartz 2.0, they're the same exact fit and style, but in the Quartz 2.0, I felt like this seam here was pretty tight on my legs. Like, it was kind of squeezing me. Not like super bad, it was just something that I noticed. But in these ones, it doesn't feel tight at all. It feels stretchy. I'm not sure if that's something that actually is different. It's just something that I noticed. So these are the cloud fabric, brushed material, super buttery, super soft, no front seam, booty contour, embroidered logo, the usual. They're biker shorts. I freaking love these. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I literally wear a pair of rider shorts like multiple times a week. I live in them. I like to wear them for workouts. If I'm wearing them for a workout, I'll keep them like pulled up like this. It's just more comfortable for me. But I also like to pull them all the way down and wear them with baggy t-shirts and my platform Converse and it looks so cute. So these are definitely one of my top picks because I live in them. Now let's see all of the colors that these Cloud Rider shorts will be coming in. Next up, we've got the cloud short, which is essentially the same exact thing as the rider shorts, but a shorter short version. Again, the colors are a little different for these shorts than they are the rider shorts. So these reach bras match the short shorts. So it's kind of confusing. And like the other bra in this collection, those are lighter than every color actually. Um, but the reach bras and cloud shorts will match perfectly as you can see. So this is the olive cloud short and olive reach bra. And you can see that they match like perfectly with each other. These are true to size. They fit just like the rider shorts. I personally prefer the rider shorts. I just like to have more coverage on my legs. I'm not someone who likes really the way I look or feel in short shorts. One thing that I do like about these cloud shorts though is that they made the inner thigh longer than the outer thigh. So you can kind of see it's like the hem kind of goes downwards. And I like that because it makes it so that like when you're working out, if they ride up a little bit, it doesn't feel like you're wearing freaking underwear, which happens sometimes. I will say that these do ride up during workouts for me. If I'm doing a Peloton ride, if I'm doing an EMOM or a HIT, like they do ride up. You can kind of see like they ride up and they get pretty short, which is just something that I personally don't like. I know some people really like short shorts. So if you do, you will love these. But, but again, I'm just someone who prefers the length and kind of security of biker shorts. But these are really cute and functional if this is the kind of style and fit that you personally like. So this is a cloud short and I will show you the other colors that they will be coming in. All right, I'm gonna be honest. This next piece is the piece that I am obsessed with. I think it is one of the best articles of clothing that Balance has ever made. It's my favorite thing ever, it, like ever, ever. So next up is the Vista short. So these are a brand new style of kind of like running shorts for balance. Let me kind of tell you the difference between these and the breeze shorts. So it is the same updated material as the breeze shorts, but I think the fit is a little better. And one main difference is that all of them have the spandex lining. None of them have the thong liner, which I wasn't a huge fan of the thong liner. I definitely preferred the breeze shorts that had the spandex underneath anyways. Um, and then it has like this, tulip hem so it's like open you know which i like because it moves with you so well like i've worn these for all sorts of workouts and i love that they move with me i never feel like i'm constricted or like uncomfortable whatsoever so i am wearing my normal size small i do think they are very true to size 
If you're someone who normally likes to size up in running shorts, you definitely could size up in these and I think you'd be really comfortable. I think that you wouldn't have as much of the spandex showing underneath. Like you can see that you see the spandex in nine like all the time. I think I could wear a medium for a looser baggier fit, but I really like the way the small fits me. So I do think they're true to size. One thing that I'm really happy about is that the spandex underneath is very stretchy. It's much thinner than like their other short material. So it feels very lightweight and breathable and it's very stretchy. It's not at all tight on my legs, which makes them just like really comfortable to wear. Okay, this is a little weird, but someone asked, there is a front seam in the spandex shorts, but it's not like riding out my hoo-ha, you know what I mean? I honestly forget that they're even there and I love that you don't have to wear underwear with them. Just makes them way more comfortable. Has an ultra chunky waistband. And then it does have a drawstring, which does actually tighten the waist of the shorts. So that's a big reason that I say, if you like to size up in shorts, you totally can without issue because you can tighten the waistband to fit your waist perfectly. Another thing that I feel like is important to know is that the spandex in the Vista short perfectly matches the core bras, whereas the outside part of the Vista shorts perfectly matches the reach bra. It looks like a little bit different shades just because like the fabric's different, but they're like the same color name. So this is stone and this is stone. And then this is overcast and this is overcast, if that makes sense. So you can match the bras with the shorts perfectly just depending on which bra you want. But those are the Vista shorts. Again, this is my number one pick from this launch. They're freaking amazing. You guys are gonna love them. Oh, I'm obsessed. So let me show you the other colors that they'll be coming in. Okay, and the last piece in this collection is the Ethos jacket, which I'm wearing right here. And I am so in love with this jacket. First of all, I love the plaid. This will be coming in three different colors. It'll be coming in this plaid, black and white, and I'll show you the black and white too. But it is the best fall jacket ever. So it is like a windbreaker material, but it's not like, it's like a soft windbreaker, not like the crunchy. You know, like it's not super swishy as I'm wearing it, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. The inside has this really lightweight, almost like fleece. It's a very soft and thin fleece though, so it makes it warm enough for fall, but not so warm that you're gonna feel like you're overheating. One thing that I don't know if it'll show up in the video, it has this ruching detail up the side of the arm on both sides. Um, it is a cropped, oversized, like boxy jacket. It doesn't have a hood, it has like this little collar. I'm obsessed with it. I'm wearing my size small and it's meant to be a little oversized. So like you can see the arms are big. It's supposed to be like that. I like it like that. I like a little bit more room in my jackets cause then you can even layer it if you would like to. But if you want it to fit more fitted than this does, you could totally size down. I don't think that would be an issue at all. I think it'd be super comfortable still. It's just literally just like the perfect fall jacket. I think when the weather cools down here in Denver, it's still so freaking hot. It's like in the nineties. I will be living in this. Of course, not while it's still 90 degrees, but as soon as the fall weather hits here, mm, that is the Ethos jacket, and I will show you the other two colors now. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Nutri Collection try on haul. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you need any specific sizing help for you personally, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'd be happy to help. Otherwise, I hope you guys are ready for the launch on Friday, this Friday, September 3rd at 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time. Usually they launch at 12 p.m. Mountain Time, so don't forget that it's a little bit different this time because of the holiday weekend. Again, if you'd like to support me and my little family while you shop, you can always use the link in my Instagram bio or it's linked in the description box as well and it does support us. So thank you so much to everyone who has used it or chooses to use it. It really means the absolute world to us. And if you do use it, don't forget to forward your order confirmation to me at chloegotsu.ilo.com so that I can enter you into my giveaway for this launch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of the other amazing videos I make. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.